The Envious Brother and the Green Genie Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Glagot, there lived a soldier called David. David was the commander-in-chief for the king and was respected by everyone in the kingdom. The little boys looked up to him and the older people wished that they had children like him. David! 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 Thank you, David. You are so kind. When I grow up, I want to be like you. Everybody loved David, except for his brother, Danis. Danis was David's younger brother and was envious of him. He was a coward and, unlike his brother, was not very much liked by the people. David, however, loved his brother. Brother, have you eaten? Oh, don't you worry about me. And please keep your dummy concern to yourself. But brother... But Danis wouldn't listen. One day, when David was awarded yet another medal for his bravery by the king, Danis was furious. This is it. I cannot take this anymore. I cannot live in my brother's shadow anymore. It is time for me to leave. And thus, he left for the neighboring kingdom on his horse. He rode for days and finally reached a forest where he decided to stop and rest. Finally, I am away from my brother and his followers. Even the king cannot stop praising him. <sighs> At that moment, his eyes fell on a lamp that was lying under a tree. It shone brightly and made Danis very curious. That's a strange looking lamp. He picked it up and inspected it closely. This looks empty and useless. However, I must say it is very shiny. Hmm, let me keep it with me. I might be able to sell it in the nearby village market and get something out of it. So he kept the lamp in his bag and went looking for something to eat. He collected enough apples for himself and sat under the tree to eat them. As he was about to take a bite from an apple, he heard a voice calling out to him. Master, feed me, master, for I am hungry. Huh? Who is that? Master, it is me, your servant. Bring me out, master, and feed me, and I will give you whatever you wish for. Danis was shocked, for he realized that the voice was coming from his bag. Is this some kind of a dream? He dug his hand into the bag and removed the lamp. Um, hello? Anybody there? Yes, master, I am. Huh? Master, don't worry. I am your servant. Just rub the lamp and I will come out of it. How do I know you won't hurt me? Because you have the lamp and whoever has the lamp is my master. Danis thought to himself for a while. Well, there is no harm in trying. And so he rubbed the lamp and at once from it came out colorful smoke. The smoke then turned into a green genie. Danis was taken aback. Master, thank you for bringing me out. I am very hungry. Mind if I eat those apples? Huh? Uh, go ahead. Danis watched the genie eat all the apples in a moment. He rubbed his belly and then burped. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ew. <laughs> now, Master, tell me, what do you wish for? And I will grant it in a moment. Hmm. Build me a house filled with all the luxuries in the world that even a king doesn't have. Ah, as you wish, master. And at once, from a cloud of smoke, emerged a magnificent house. It looked golden in color and had birds chirping all around it. Wow, that's amazing. What else do you wish for, master? I want you to bring Princess Lana to me. Oh, but master, that would mean abducting her. Are you sure you want me to do that? Yes, absolutely. That is the only way to take revenge from my brother, since he is madly in love with her. As you wish, Master. So the genie went to the palace and snuck into Princess Lana's room. The princess was sleeping. Finding it as an opportune time, the genie used his magic to make the princess disappear. But just then, the Princess Lana's maid walked into her room and seeing the genie, she screamed out loud. Ah! The maid at once ran out of the room to call the guards. The genie immediately snapped his finger, 
again and disappeared instantly. David, along with the guards, came running inside the room, but it was too late. Back in the forest, in Danis's house, the princess and the genie appeared. The princess woke up from her sleep, and finding her in a different surrounding, she panicked. Where... where am I? What is happening? I am sorry, princess, but I was ordered to bring you here by the master. The master? And are you a real genie? Am I dreaming? Just then, Danis entered the room, clapping his hands. Welcome, princess. Or should I say, prisoner? <laughs> Danis? You? What, what do you want from me? What is happening? <laughs> What's happening is that I have abducted you so that I can teach David and everyone in Glaygott a lesson. A lesson? What are you talking about? Back in the kingdom, the king was heartbroken. Do not worry, my king, for I will bring your daughter back. But how will you do it, David? She has been abducted by a genie with the help of this. David explained to the king about his compass that can track supernatural beings. Based on the direction the arrow is pointing towards, she is in the great forest of Alban. Then go at once, O oh brave David, and bring back my daughter. Bring me also the person who dared to capture her. I will give him the most severe punishment. David nodded and left with the soldiers. How does abducting me teach David a lesson? Oh, because he is in love with you. Princess Lana was so delighted to hear it that she forgot that she had been abducted. What? He's in love with me? I have been in love with him since ages. Oh, thank you so much, Dennis. You are a sweetheart. Uh, what? Sweetheart? I am not a sweet... Sweetheart, I am Danis, the master of genies. Technically, master, I am only one, so... Shut up! It is not important. Neither of this is. The point is that I have abducted you, and I will trade you for the kingdom of Glaygott. And then once I am the king, I will imprison David and will be happy forever. <laughs> Dennis, come on, seriously, you know your brother more than anyone else in the world. You think he will lose to you and this green man of yours? Hey, show some respect. You abducted me from my home while I was sleeping. Like, have some respect. I am sorry. What is happening here? You guys are bonding? I am on a mission here. Just then, the window banged open and from it entered David holding on to a rope. Sorry I am late. You are all right, right, princess? Oh, yes, I am perfectly fine. Not a scratch. David smiled and turned to the other side of the room. Seeing his brother with the genie, he was shocked. Danis, you? Yes, me. I am the one who abducted her. But why? Because I hate you. I hate that everyone looks up to you and worships you. Well, no one bothers about me. You have overshadowed me all my life. I cannot take it anymore. But little brother, I love you. Enough, Genie, capture him at once. Genie stayed still and did not move. Danis turned towards him. Genie! Well, he is powerless against my compass. I am sorry, brother, but your little adventure ends here. Furious, Danis charged towards David. But just then, the guards came forward and grabbed him. David put the genie back into the lamp and presented it to Princess Lana. This is for you, my princess. It should be in safe hands. Princess Lana smiled and hugged David. Oh, I love you, David. That same day, David returned to the palace with the princess and presented his brother in front of the king. The king was overjoyed at being reunited with his daughter. They hugged each other, and then the king turned towards David. I am so proud of you, David. You have shown once again what a great warrior you are. Tell me, what punishment do you want me to give to your brother? Oh, king, I know it is my brother who has abducted the princess, and he deserves punishment. But a brother's heart can never wish harm upon his sibling. 
That's why I request you to set Dennis free, and I promise he will never cause any harm upon anyone. Hearing this, Dennis broke into tears. He realized how much his brother loved him. He at once fell on his knees. <laughs> I have been so wrong about you. Today I know why they call you the greatest. The king, who saw all of this, was greatly moved. It looks like you have learned your lesson, Dennis. But I must punish you regardless. I hereby appoint you as Knight of the Royal Army. <laughs> 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 In a great ceremony, David and Princess Lana were married. Danis was very happy. And as for the genie, well, he was set free by Princess Lana. But he chose to stay in the kingdom and teach kids about the virtues of kindness. 